I'm sure you're wondering, how do I know if the College of Humanities is the right college for me? 19,000 young people like yourself who wish to pursue careers that allow them to contribute positively to their lives, communities, the country, and even the world over, have found our college a location of learning, a nexus to network, and a culture of excellence. The School of Applied Human Sciences offers a range of exciting professional and general programs at undergraduate level. You can choose between a Bachelor of Arts, a Bachelor of Social Science or a Bachelor of Social Work degree. Here you can major in Criminology and Forensic Studies, where you can explore victimology, criminal justice and forensic studies. You will learn to deal effectively with crime, victimization and conflict using biological, psychological and social dimensions and theories of criminal behaviour and explore the diversity of criminal behaviour. You will be our next forensic criminologist, victimologist, criminal justice and health practitioner or researcher. Maybe you would prefer to learn and research more about human behaviour, thought and emotions. Majoring in psychology and industrial psychology lets you focus at both a basic research and an applied clinical level. With psychology, you will be able to address social problems and personal life challenges. And it is a major that is regarded highly by the internationally recognized Health Professionals Council of South Africa. Psychology is a powerful major that combines well with other majors. Combine psychology with criminology and forensic studies. If you are interested in human behavior and the legal system, with industrial relations or economics and management courses to augment the business interest, with literature, language, linguistics, philosophy or ethics courses for more creative exploration and understanding of thought and reason, or combine it with mathematics, computers and statistics. If you wish to train as a researcher, if you want to practice as a psychologist, then you'll need to take your studies up to a master's level and complete a recognized internship program and community service for clinical psychology. From there you will be eligible to take the national exam set by the Board of Psychology and then register with the Health Professionals Council of South Africa as an educational, counselling, research, industrial or clinical psychologist. Or maybe you would prefer to register as a professional counsellor after completing four years of training, a recognised internship and passing the national examination. Psychologists are employed in a range of roles and settings from hospitals to schools, government organisations to private practice to NGOs, all depending on your specialisation. If you're concerned with improving people's quality of life, the promotion of peace, human rights, equity and social justice, then maybe social work is for you. Social work education and training equips you to work with individuals, groups and communities in a range of contexts such as child and family, welfare, mental health, substance abuse and correctional services, as well as many more local and international job opportunities. Social work at UKZN is affiliated with the International Association of Schools of Social Work, approved by the South African Qualifications Authority for Social Work. This major helps students wishing to register as professional social workers with the South African Council for Social Services Professions. If you see yourself as more of a creative person and the fields of music, media and cultural studies interest you, then the School of Arts might be for you. Combining critical inquiry with artistic practice that engages with South African, African and global contemporary context with a diverse range of disciplines that include drama, English, French, Isi Zulu, linguistics, media, music, fine arts and digital media. Our School of Arts is internationally renowned for its vibrant performance, collaborations and community engagement. The discipline of African languages concentrates on enhancing students' knowledge about South Africa and Africa through language, culture and research. UKZN is currently the only university in South Africa 
which promotes an African language as part of its curriculum by integrating Isizulu as a core requirement for the undergraduate program. Kiswahili is currently offered and courses in Susutu and Isitosa will be offered soon. Digital Arts is an undergraduate major and offers a 50-50 split between practice and theory. The practice modules are laboratory based and focus on teaching creative, technical and conceptual skills within the digital arts, including 2D animation, 3D modeling, film production techniques, net art and interactive web design. The theoretical models focus on art and digital media and they relate to contemporary discourse and to historical precedents and context. The Drama and Performance Studies program is a recognized center of excellence in performing arts with a strong focus on Southern African context. The program is structured around theater studies, dance studies, and applied theater studies and offers a curriculum that engages both theory and practice. We believe that drama is of benefit to all students. It is not only a subject, but also an integral part of a formative education that grows life skills. English studies introduces students to textual analysis and major literary forms, the short story, the novel, poetry and drama. English is an important area of study as it lends itself well to equipping students in career spanning from law to public administration and management. The Center for Visual Art on the Peter Marisburg campus offers training in a variety of fine art disciplines. Students are able to work in a range of practical courses in the drawing, painting, ceramics and printmaking studios, which include a theoretical component related to studio practice. Students work in innovative areas using specialist techniques such as intaglio and screen printing. A wide range of creative practices are taught in the ceramic studio, including hand building and throwing as well as glaze formulation and a variety of firing processes. French is the international language spoken in more than 20 African countries. It is valued highly as a vehicle of literature, thought and diplomacy and is the third most useful language for business. The increasing pace of African cooperation and globalization has enhanced opportunities for employment in the field of language and makes a thorough knowledge of the language and culture of France and Francophone countries particularly relevant and rewarding. Stimulating, high-quality courses are offered that anticipate the changing needs of society. Linguistics is a scientific study of language. Language plays an important role in virtually all spheres of human activity. Of particular interest is how it is constructed, learned and used in society and how it changes. Linguistics overlaps with other disciplines, particularly in the social sciences. Psycholinguists, for example, are interested in the way the brain processes language and how people learn to use one or more languages. Social linguists, on the other hand, are interested in the role language plays in human interaction. Media and culture studies is an exciting discipline involved in the study of contemporary culture and the mass media. The program is based on the theoretical analysis of form, television, newspapers, magazines, new media, corporate communication and advertising, while also offering students who major in the program hands-on training in the areas of filmmaking, web design, print layout, editing and journalistic writing. Music at UKZ is around both nationally and internationally for its creative work and published research in the fields of ethnomusicology, jazz, music technology, African practical music making, popular music studies, opera, musicology and music composition. With a wide variety of academic offerings and community orientated programs and projects, this course also includes a series of lunch hour concerts and other concerts as well as the African Music Project. Music Now offers a music foundation year for students who do not have formal music training to cope more easily with the music bachelor's degree. The school also offers modules to assist students to cope with the demands of academic writing in English, a necessary part of understanding the high level of communication 
used in the lecture theatre. The School of Built Environment and Development Studies provides the answer to some long-standing questions regarding the relationship between the construction of physical infrastructure and the people who either use the infrastructure or live in and around it locally and internationally. It is appropriately placed to work with both national and local government in promoting the synergistic relationship between the built environment and social, economic, cultural, political and environmental development. The school on the Howard College campus offers mostly non-applied or professional programs and many of the modules serve as popular service subjects for other programs within the college. Built Environment and Development Studies is divided into six disciplines that can be studied at the undergraduate level. Architecture is a field related to the design of buildings and human spaces. The responsibility of architects includes the supervision of the construction of the buildings they design. Graduates can go to be registered architects, able to apply technological systems in design, knowledgeable of regulations and the ability to design appropriate buildings and research the requirements and processes of buildings effectively. Community development, which is a multidisciplinary research and teaching program that focuses on the broad areas of social development and social economic reconstruction. The program's research initiatives address key social, economic and political concerns, social justice, inequality and poverty, uneven or inadequate economic growth, misdistribution of resources and institutional failures. Graduates will be equipped with both theoretical knowledge and practical skills to initiate, implement and manage social and economic development at all levels. Development studies addresses key economic, political and social concerns, inequality and poverty, uneven or inadequate economic growth, maldistribution of resources and institutional failures by critically examining the role and efficacy of state policies and interventions by other social actors. The field of development studies focuses especially, but not exclusively, on these concerns as they apply to developing countries. The housing program provides a wide range of modules that aim to equip students with economic, social, technological and policy issues with a focus on various housing production systems and their impact on housing delivery and management. Graduates will fill a wide range of roles from housing conceptualization through to implementation. Planning involves a scientific, aesthetic and orderly disposition of land, resources, facilities and services with a view to securing the physical, economic and social efficiency, health and well-being of urban and rural communities. Responsible planning has always been vital for the sustainability of safe, health and secure urban environments. Issues dealt with include conversion of land from natural habitats to urban built areas, maintenance and use of natural resources and habitats, development of transportation related infrastructure and environmental protection. And last but not least, population studies is a broad social science discipline concerned with the study of human population in relation to the factors associated with changes in size, composition and distribution. The program consists of a broad range of modules aimed at equipping students with an understanding of population processes, demographic analysis and population formulation. In addition, students are introduced to independent research on a wide range of population topics, such as, but not limited to population and development, population and health, to migration and urbanization. The School of Education has a strong national reputation of excellence that produces exceptional world-class teachers with accessible and relevant courses that are appropriate for both national and global contexts. Located on the Edgewood, Pinetown and Peter Marisburg campuses, the School of Education offers varied phases and specialisations. For those interested in teaching as a career, 
there are two routes that lead to a professional qualification in education. The first way is to start out from your Bachelor of Education degree. This is the perfect qualification for those who know they want to become a teacher and have their heart set on the career. With school-based practical and authentic experience, as well as integration of the various competencies developed in the program as a whole. During the four years of study, students are geared to gain a varied experience of teaching in South African schools by being placed in different schools each year. The four-year vocational specific professional course leads to registration with the South African Council for Educators and employment in the South African schools as an educator at RDQV 14 level with the opportunity to continue with the phase focus at a postgraduate level. The foundation phase focuses on the educational needs of children from birth to age nine, working with young children in preschool, daycare and community centers and for teaching, including the reception year. The intermediate phase focuses on teaching learners from grades four to six. There are two specializations offered in the intermediate phase program, namely natural sciences and technology and mathematics. The senior and further education and training phase for teaching in secondary schools with the focus on developing a subject specialization. The second way is to train in a specialized area first, for example, a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Social Sciences degree and follow this with the one-year postgraduate teaching qualification known as the Postgraduate Certificate in Education. This is perfect for those who think they want to become teachers but are not completely sure. This is only offered in senior phase and further education and training teaching grades 7 to 12 and further education and training teaching grades 10 to 12. The School of Religion, Philosophy and Classics is known for its vibrant undergraduate programs. It has an excellent track record in competitive research output and aims to attract the best prospective students. You can look forward to studying with a group of internationally recognized scholars in a school with a high level of collegiality and national and international research recognition and collaboration. The school comprises a variety of exciting disciplines that contribute to the study of religion, philosophy and classics in interdisciplinary, comparative and contextually relevant ways on the African continent. In general terms, classics is the study of ancient civilizations, particularly those of ancient Greece and Rome. In this area of study, students acquire skills in analytical and comparative thinking, the intelligent use of written and spoken language and broad cultural literacy. Applied Ethics Studies deals in an interdisciplinary way with behaviour traditions and institutions that seek to foster that which is judged to be right and good by society's main value systems, drawing on historical, comparative, philosophical and scientific insights with a strong emphasis on applied ethical issues. Philosophy is all about the love of wisdom. Students of philosophy explore ideas about the world and its people examining them systematically and critically in order to work out what should be believed. Philosophy provides the opportunity to carefully question, think about, write about and discuss fundamental aspects of human existence. At the same time it fosters essential skills in analyzing, construction and evaluating arguments, critical reading, problem solving and independent thinking. The study of religion encompasses the scientific study of the major world religions in context. Focus on the African continent, it engages the study of religious phenomena in terms of the significance of the historical, ritual, moral, organizational and belief systems. Contextually, the discipline engages a wide range of fields as religion intersects and engages with development studies, politics, economics, human rights, health and environmental studies. A Bachelor of Theology degree prepares students either for their day in ministry in a Christian church or for a wide engagement in society from a theological responsible position. The 
School of Social Sciences is the collection of disciplines concerned with human or social behaviour and society and its functioning. If you're passionate about understanding local, national and global communities and the ways in which they live and work, understand the complexities of the human society and the importance of responsible citizenship in the School of Social Sciences is for you. Anthropology is the study of humankind. Of all the social science disciplines, it is the best place to contribute to a comprehensive understanding of the diversity and unity that characterizes human life on this planet. It is a growing and exciting discipline well suited to those who have an inquiring mind and an interest in what makes us human. Anthropologists believe that a true understanding of the human condition can only be achieved by studying the distant as well as the near, the ancient as well as the modern. How has our species evolved? How are traditions of thought and behavior taught? How and why do cultures change or persist? Culture and heritage tourism is an interdisciplinary field of study that focuses on various aspects of local culture and heritage and on the implications of their development as tourist attractions. The field draws on economics, arts and crafts, languages, architecture, history, human geography and other disciplines that are all centrally involved with the heritage industry and with tourism. Economic history explains how economic development has occurred in different times and places and how economic change has related to social and political changes. An understanding of economic growth and dynamism in the past is one of the best ways of evaluating development processes. Without a sense of the past, it is not possible to fully understand the present and the possibilities of the future. The study of history offers important comparative and critical insights into processes of change. History broadens our perspective and offers us distinctive ways of developing critical thinking. Industrial and Organisational Labour Studies is an interdisciplinary program that focuses on the world of work, its people, and the processes and organisations involved in work. It develops our understanding of a central aspect of our lives, namely work and what goes along with it. Political science examines the ways in which societies organise themselves to decide how resources should be distributed, what values should be binding and how identities are expressed in ideas such as citizenship and nationhood. Studies in this field resonate with those who are interested and aware of the political environment, current affairs and the world around us. If you have an analytical mind and the ability to see the big picture, you'll be well suited to study political science. Sociology is a scientific study of human social behaviour and society. It involves the ways in which people live alongside others in the world and it is at the forefront of disciplines working to understand society and to suggest interventions to address social issues. Sociology specialises in producing critical thinkers and prepares students for the world of work in a number of areas that deal with human interaction. With a degree from the College of Humanities, you will be equipped with the critical thinking and communication skills that employers seek and you will also gain a strong foundation for a lifetime of curiosity as you prepare to influence, impact and create change.